Okay, let's go. All right, let's get let's get rolling. Time to go. Ultra instinct. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, I was doing my I was doing my thirty seconds of meditation. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Okay, so everybody's playing. So it's gonna be a fun event. I mean, I feel like 21 rounds, I should have pretty good chances here. Let's go round one. I actually have to be careful of LaFong. Someone, someone who's 2590 could LaFong me, technically. I think C6 was a slip, but maybe not. Let's go here, let's hit the pawn, let's go queen d3 maybe. And also take, um, feels like there should be some tricks here. I'm gonna go here and line it up. I also have knight f7, what's d4 do? Nothing specifically, um, let's just go, uh, yeah, let's just take. Go here. <laughs> Now I just take H6. I mean, whatever. Let's not let's not gamble. It's too early to gamble. It's, too, it's just too early for gambling. It's 21 rounds, so I mean, as long as I'm solid and, and sound here, I'll be I'll be fine. Um, I think check is right because I have a fork. If he goes over, I just take. Yeah, I just take and now it's game over. And checkmate. Okay, we got the first one under our belt. Um, let, let me see if there, um, if there are any breaks or it's just straight 21 rounds. Okay, that's round one. Okay, Ali Reza is still playing. Let's watch his game. Uh, or is he? Wait, no, no, he won too. Everybody, everybody's gonna win the first round, I expect. Uh, no bond clouds. This is competitive, so no bond clouds at all, you guys. This is very, very serious chess. No, no, no bond clouds. No bond clouds. Can you imagine joining this opening first games against Ikaro? I mean, I think that's that's great because for these guys who are like twenty five hundred, they're playing it because they just want to enjoy. What I was wondering is where is TL, TL, TL in this? Because I don't see TL. He's not in this event, which is weird. Um, so, yeah. But, yeah, there's no Magnus. So, Magnus is not playing. Yeah, okay, round two. We play Crick or Okay. Now, I think the key here is just to... Um, oh, he didn't verify... That's true. He didn't verify his title. I mean, I can also take, just take. What is Krikor doing? He's moving way too slowly. What is Krikor doing? Dude, what are you doing? Wait a second, this can't possibly work. Yeah, this just wins. Cause I go check and then I fork the queen and the king, GG's. I mean, every, I'm just gonna take here. Uh, okay, takes this one, but I can just go Rook F5 here. It's just pretty easy. Okay, we're 2-0. and We keep going. 19 more to go. Oh, right now Penguin's higher. Yeah, I shipped a lot of points in the uh, in the Speed Chess Championship because it was 1 plus 1. I mean, one thing I've said, I think, is, you know, it's like 30 second counts as bullet, 1 plus 1 counts as bullet. Um, so, yeah, I, I heard about the breaks. Yeah, um, and so, like... All these different formats are, and like, 
I mean, if I play Wesley and I, or Wesley or, or Vladimir or any of these guys at one plus one, like it's much different than one plus zero, and um, I'm gonna lose points because one plus one is very, very different than bullets. So currently, yeah, my rating's a little bit low. I feel like, but um, highest was thirty-five seventy. That was my highest bullet rating. Have I played Nihal uh, in bullet? Uh, yes, I have actually a few times, but not recently. I actually would argue I think Nihal, well, no, he's not overrated now. I was going to say I saw Nihal lurking at like 3250, and I thought Nihal was overrated at Bullet, but now I see he's down to 3079, which seems more more realistic. Um, thank you to Creel for the Prime. Thank you to Dragon Samo for the two. Thank you to Dub Nation for 17. So, yeah, anyway, this is going to this is gonna move pretty fast, though. This is going to be very, very fast. Why did I fork the Queen? Um, I mean, I could have forked, but I thought if I fork, oh, I had Rook H2, which I forgot about, but I just, I don't know, I thought he gets some kind of weird play here, maybe. It's obviously lost, but, yeah. I mean, I don't know, I thought, I thought it was losing, so that's why I didn't do it. Thank you to XX Call Rep XX for the Prime, thank you so much, appreciate it, thank you. But, yeah, anyway, we just keep rolling, keep rolling. Again, this is a qualifier. Top six players qualify into the final tomorrow. Tang lost? No, he won. What are you talking about? He won. Good, good debate, but no, he he won. Um, good debate. Thirty-five seventy is the highest. I think Ali Rez and I are the only two people over thirty-five hundred. Okay, this guy's good too. Let's go here. go here I think I just go H for King H1 let's go um okay C1 I think I have F4 and takes maybe what am I doing actually I feel like I'm misplaying this let's go E4 I'm actually misplaying this wait a second Too slow also. Oh shoot, is this just a draw? Fudge. It's just a draw. Bad start. Very bad game, by the way. Very, very bad start. Unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. Very, very bad start. F4 was a very bad move, but whatever. Yeah, it's that was a very, very bad start. But it's okay. I mean, again, it's not the end of the world. It's 21 rounds. Um and if this was like nine rounds, I'd be concerned. I was winning for a few moves. Where was I winning? I mean, I was winning until I played E4. I don't know why I played E4. This was just insane. Um, like right around here, I was just better. And then I played, uh, I pl this whole thing was stupid. Like right around here, I'm just better. I can just, I can, I can just not go F4 and I'm better. But like for some reason, I already did this. Yeah, already out. Yeah, with 21 rounds, I'm definitely not out. That's for sure. Also, what I could have done, which I, which I don't know why I didn't do it, was I thought I should have taken and gone F5. This was also the other thing that I could have played, and I didn't play it for some reason either. Or, whoops, didn't mean to open that one. But again, it's not the end of the world. I just need to play fast and, and good moves, because that, that just wasn't very good to start with. Okay. Actually, wait, a ton of people are on, wait. Back. This could be very, this could be very dangerous already. Oh, 
This is very, very dangerous. He blundered, though. He blundered. Very, very bad start. Okay, uh, let's just go here in D5, maybe. I should be winning, but I'm not happy with my play so far. Go here, hit the knight. Okay, I'm just gonna win now. A very, very bad. A couple of bad games here to start. We get the win. Not happy, but it's good. It's good still. I was definitely losing that game, so I can live with it. Just slow down, slow down. <laughs> Okay, well, let's watch Bortnik's game. This is going to be crazy. Let me turn off evals. No no, no need for that in bullet. Um, okay, Sergey goes down here. Sergey's going to lose. Yeah, I feel like I'm I do feel like I'm playing too fast, at least at the start. But, eh, whatever. No biggies. Again, it's going to be a long tournament. Everybody's going to have to play each other at some point. Thank you, Jackie Boy, for the five months. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm not gonna tilt. I mean, it's it's 21 rounds, so um, long, long way to go. Time, space, and harmony. <laughs> yeah, yeah, thank you, appreciate it. Um, yeah, let's just keep going. You and Andrew on three and a half. Yeah, I mean, they're gonna they're gonna be draws for sure. Um, but it's going to be a long tournament. Yeah, but everybody's playing. Big Fish is playing. Daniel's playing. Bortnick. I mean, really, the main thing is just to qualify. That's the only important thing. Um, we play Oparin. Let's go here. I probably am going to ignore chat mostly during games as well, so... He's very slow here. Let's go here. Don't I just win a pawn here or something? He just blundered. He's, he has no forks tonight. Holds it. Four is this? I blund. Uh, I kind of blundered here. Wait a second. Okay, I check and I check. Yeah, easy. There we go. All right, we got the win. Keep moving on. Uh, four and a half out of four. Or sorry, four and a half out of five. And um, let's let's watch Ali Reza. Ali Reza is playing Indian Lad. Yeah, we're at the stage where everybody gets tough games now. No easy games anymore. But Indian Lad is a little bit low rate. Ali Reza should be winning here. Yeah, he's going to win this game. Okay, let's look at the other games. Dania should be playing. Um, there's Check. King B7. Oh, he blundered. He blundered. He blundered. Nihal was actually down on time, though. So there's nothing he could do. There's nothing that Nihal could do there. So, yeah, Rook F7. Yeah, Nihal loses. Um, okay, so let's see. Who else is playing? Uh, I mean, everybody, I guess, is playing. Bortnik is losing. Bortnik loses. This is the first big sh surprise. Bortnik loses. This is the first big surprise. Um, this is the first big surprise that Bortnik loses his game. Tang lost too, really? Okay. Oh, is say is say um is say Robert has his birthday, maybe it is. Um anyway. Okay. Wow. So yeah, this is when it, it's really narrowing down. Farusha still hasn't won. Take take! Oh, Ali!
Sterling Reza wins barely. Wow, I can't believe that he didn't. Indian Lad should have tried to take the rook there. That's amazing that he didn't try. Very, very, very poor technique. Okay, we play wonderful time. Okay, serious time now. We're in the very serious thick of things. Up upon doing well, very well so far. Let's just take. Oh, does this work? Let's go here. Go here now, Queen D3. Now I'm just much better. Blundered shoot. Uh, I'm 94, I guess. Should have gone F4. Again, not playing well. doing again not good too panicky yeah it's okay i mean a draw is fine i think if i don't lose it's fine yeah that was a big yikes i really misplayed that um i blunder b2 yeah i blunder b2 that was big yikes that was a very big yikes actually i, I mean maybe i had something else but that was a very big yikes that was not good at all and i could have played knight h5 right away after queen b2 instead of f3, and I didn't do it. Yeah, I, I mean, I didn't lose the game, so I can live with it, um, which is important. Draw, Ali Reza lost. Yeah, he, did he lose to Big Fish? Who did, yeah, so like, the thing is, like, draws don't matter that much, but I can't lose. I don't seem slow, I wouldn't say I'm slower, I think my timing is off. My timing is just off a little bit, but it's still good. I lost one. Well, I mean, two draw draws, loss, whatever. It's all the same. Okay, let's go here. Actually, a lot of people on five out of six. Every two people on six. Everybody else is on five. So you see, like, people are gonna drop points. It's a little bit risky to play this opening, by the way. I don't know why I'm doing it. Okay, let's just go uh, C six. Go here, here maybe? What's the free juicer? Let's just take it. If E5 I can take. Oh, I also have bishop f5. Let's go here for starters to hit the queen. This should be 180, 60. I'm just gonna castle. I don't know if this works. Let's take, because I can take with a bishop. Let's just go here in 95 should be fine. Let's go here, hit the pawn. See if C6 here. Go. Oh my god, what the fudge is this? Let's go here. I guess I have to take? Go here.
There we go. Yeah, there we go. Very shaky. Very shaky. I'm not playing well, but I'm still in the hunt, which is, which I guess is good because I, I should turn it around. But yeah, not playing well. Not playing well at all, but I, I get a win. Uh, let's watch this one. This is a big game. Uh, big Fish is about to win again. Okay, Big Fish wins. Um, yeah, 7 out of 7. Thank you to Tangeranium for the Prime. Cakey for the Prime. Snoopy with the Prime. T-Stand with the 9. Derpy Mark for the 7. And Mad Lads Hub for the 12. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, next game. Okay, I play Big Fish. No Carl Cons. I'm going to play this slow. Go here, maybe I take. Oh, I just blundered B2, but I get lucky. I thought I had like this in Bishop F1, maybe. Why did I do this? This was bad too. Gotta move quicker. I'm moving too slowly. Gotta move faster. What am I doing? Ah, my mouse. Jeez. I'm moving too slowly. I don't know what's with me today. I just feel a little bit off. The rhythms don't feel right. Oh, what, what was that? Oh my God, oh, what was that? Oh my God, what was that? My mouse, my mouse, my mouse, jeez. Oh, how did I draw that? How did I draw that? That's crazy. How did I draw that? Jeez, that's insane. How did I draw? That's nuts. Did his mouse get stuck or lag? I don't know what that was. Wow, okay, I mean, I can live with that. That's not good, but okay, whatever. Let's keep going. <sighs> yeah, my, my rhythms just seem off. I'm gonna, uh, let me see, let me, let me move some stuff out of the way. Not a good position. Oh, I just blundered a pawn too. My rhythms are just off. I can feel it. I don't know what's with me today, but. I'm still in the game though. I go here in rook g8. I think I go f4 here. Uh, let's go here.
Checkmate. Yeah, I'm gonna win. Better. Much better. That was a that was a much better game. I think you did Fakali with the tier one, Feeny with the Prime, Tiny Menace for the Prime, Elmo Bed for the tier one, and Big Bartino for the Prime. Thank you so much. Yeah, that was better. Not great, but better. Yeah, this draw against Big Fish was critical, though. The fact that I drew this Big Fish game might loom very large, because that kind of kept me in it. And if I can kind of turn it around here, um, you need top six. So if I can turn it around here and start playing well, that's good. Like, I don't care. I mean, I don't even care. I could finish six for all I care. The key is just to be in the top six. That's it. Made a Ryuga chest for six months. Thank you so much. By rhythms, I mean, I just mean, like, it, I can feel, like, the tempo of my moves just is it, it isn't quite right. Um, where is Andrew? I see, I mean, of course, Daniel's, Daniel's up here, too. Where is Andrew? I don't see, wait, where is Andrew? He's already dropped two, he's already dropped three points. Wow. Crazy. He's already dropped three points. Insane. Thank you to Phonics for the eight. Thank you to Stan X for the, for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, this is the thing, though. Like, Andrew's rating at 34 plus is a little bit over... I mean, a little bit too high. Um, I mean, I think I'm going to play E5 this game. I don't... Or, I don't know. We'll see. Whatever. Sad. Why did I do this? There we go. We get the win. That was a good game. That was a good game. That was legitimately a good game. Um, so we get the win against Danya. And is there going to be a break here? Let me see. That was that was good. That was much better. That that was legitimately good. That that was a good game. I don't. It's not even that it was against Danya. It's just that was a good game. The tempo was good. The rhythms were good. Everything was in sync. Okay. All right, you guys. <laughs> Um, okay, so we win eight and a half out of ten. Big Fish won again against I don't know against who against whom, but he is nine and a half out of ten. Again, it doesn't really matter. I could be first, I could be sixth. I just have to be top six. That's all I have to do. Pretty standard list, though. If you look here up at the top of uh, who the top players are. Anyway, I think there's a six minute break here, so we're on the break. Um. But pretty good stuff. Thank you to TOCL for the Prime. Foxy Fox with the Prime. Luca Z Luca with the Prime. Thank you to Retrosfer with the five months. Act John with the four. Corey Nokiri for the four months as well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. So yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Somehow always wins the time scrambles. Uh, uh, well, no, but see, the funny thing is he actually, against me, he didn't win the time scramble. That's what's funny. Against me, he uh, he got to the winning time scramble. He was up a second, and he didn't. Um, he didn't. He actually he flagged against me in that position. So um, yeah, he beat Bortnik. Ah, okay. Yeah, I mean, he he of course is very very uh, very strong player. His internet gave way. Yeah, maybe. But again, we're halfway through. Long way to go. He still has to play Danya. He'll have to play. Um, He'll have to play uh, 
Or maybe he already played Dan, but he probably has to play Jeffrey. He probably has to play Ali Reza. A lot of guys left to play. Did he play Ali Reza yet or not? Ah, he played Daniel. Okay, okay. Thank you to show Dan Danik for the tier one. He didn't play, um... He didn't play Ali Reza yet, though, did he? So, I mean, we'll see. Because actually, when I look at players near the top, who have I not played? I played Daniel. I played Jeffrey. I played Bigfish. So I've actually played... So I think I have to play Raunak or Ali Reza next, depending. Thank you, Unin, for the uh, Prime. Thank you, Anna Chess for the 27 months. Thank you so much to Anna Rudolph for the uh, 27 months. No losses yet? Yeah, I mean... A couple draws is fine. But yeah, it's I mean it's really tight already. I mean, I think I think probably if I had to guess, let's see, I'm on eight and a half out of ten. I've dropped one and a half points so far. I'm guessing that my guess is that sixteen and a half out of twenty-one is probably good enough. No, maybe sixteen. Sixteen, I think. Maybe. I mean it depends it depends who gets super hot and if there are a ton of decisive games. Um, but my guess is probably 16 or 16 and a half will be six. That's my guess. I'm number one at Big Fish and have an insane day. I don't really care. I, I don't care if he has an insane day. All I care about is top six. Thank you to Kanger for the five gifted subs as well. I think I missed that, but thank you. Uh, there are playoffs. So top six qualify, and then there's a secondary qualifier after this where the top six also qualify. So, yeah. Uh, you can enter both, yeah, but if I do qualify, I'm, I'm only going to play this one. I won't play the next one. Will I stream the next one? Yeah. So if I qualify, I'll do commentary. I'll, I'll stream it. I'll, I'll do commentary. If I don't qualify, of course, I will play it. Thank you, Kurapika, for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. So, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. Uh, but, yeah, it's going to be it's gonna be fun. Looking forward to it. Again, big shout out to the nearly 22,000 you guys who are watching. Hope you're having a good day. Good afternoon. Uh, there is a cash prize. So there are no cash prizes today. Today is qualification. But six players from this one, the 21 rounds, and there will be one after this, another six players. So 12 players qualify to the knockout. And first prize will be $5,000 overall. So very serious. I think same time, but I'm not sure. Anyway, okay, let's go. Good luck, Daniel. Good luck. Got a very juicy position already. Let's just take. I think I'm just winning out of the gate. Wait a second. Let's just take. This has to be winning. This diagonal is just crushing him. Let's just take. Yeah, I'm up two pawns. I'm up on the clock. If I lose this, I deserve to lose. Let's go here. Queen F6 is coming now. This is game over. Look at this battering ram. GG's. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's keep it rolling. That was a very smooth, good win. That was a good win. I'm happy with that game. Let's watch Big Fish. He is playing Ali Reza. The big, big matchup. Um, let's see. Ali Reza is not doing well, though. He's in bad shape here. I mean, black is definitely better in this position with correct... Oh my gosh, black is definitely better after bishop e5. Okay, let's see. You trade d4, knight c4. I mean, it's probably still a draw, but Ali Reza is down five seconds on the clock. I mean, this should be a draw with correct play. But can Ali Reza get to the bishop's opposite color in time? I don't know. It's a good question. g4, king g5, king f4. There's this and this. He does that. Ooh, knight b2 is nasty. Very nasty. 
I think I think Alirez is gonna win this because the knight is too good. I think Alirez will win this. Maybe not though. Wait. Yeah, Alirez is gonna win this game. I think f4. Yeah, Alirez is gonna win. He's he's up five seconds, so he can run the clock down. He'll run it down and flag him. Yeah, c4. Yeah, but I, he has no time. Can he do it? Can he do it actually? I think he can. I don't believe this. I think he gets to 50 moves. Oh, Ali Reza choked that so hard. That is unbelievable. That is literally unbelievable the way that Ali Reza choked that. He totally was winning on, he would have flagged him, but he let Big Fish get the only setup where he could just repeat 50 moves. That's unbelievable. Wow. Unreal. Okay, but anyway, whatever. It doesn't matter. We move on. Next game. Let's go E5. What's he thinking about? Let's go here. I've really misplayed this, but I'm way up on the clock here. Oh, I just blundered. Oh my God. Bad game, but we got the win. Ali Reza used too much time in the opening. He used too much time. He he needed about, if Ali Reza had about 10 seconds more or five seconds more, he would have, but he defended incredible. He saw Bishop G5, which was out of this world good. I mean, Bishop G5 was out of this world good. But whatever. Anyway, we win. We win and nobody cares. So we keep moving on. Oh, did, did Big Fish lose? Who did, did he lose to Jeffrey? Maybe he lost. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. Um, we keep going, but yeah, right now, Ali Reza is in very, the person who's in bad shape is Ali Reza actually on eight and a half, but I'm predicting 16 and a half is, is what'll get it done. But yeah, we keep going, keep going. Nine more to go. Thank you to beginnings for the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay. Next game, Andrew, of course, I'm gonna do something different. No, actually, I'm going to play the same thing. He's thinking already. What's he thinking about? Let's go here. I misplayed this order shoot. Go here and hit the bishop. This looks wrong. I have bishop h6. Wait. Go here. I'm trying to get really tricky. I could have taken two. Let's take. I have check. Oh, come on. Let's go. Let's go. Mm hmm. 
Let's keep going. All right, we got the win. Let's keep moving. I don't know if queen a4 is any good. Total total bunky bunk. If he takes the queen, he gets checkmated, of course. The bishop holds the squares. Um, and he can't go anywhere. I don't know. I mean, is this good? Let's just 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 to just to boost my ego. Let's uh let's do a let's see what the analysis is. Let me change the scene for a second. Just to boost my ego for one second. Let's see. Okay, we both had bad we both had bad moves. Um Oh, F5 is winning here? Yeah, okay, that's not shocking. Queen A4. <laughs> Queen A4. <laughs> Look at this showboat move Queen A4 that is absolute garbage. After bishop C4, I'm just doing poorly. Yeah, so every okay, that was absolute garbage. Um no ego flexes, clearly. But whatever, let's go back. Okay, let's let's keep watching. Okay, we're on eleven and a half. This is round thirteen. There's gonna be a break, I think, after two more games. No flexing, yeah, no flexing. Jeffrey Jeffrey is beating Dania. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Where's Dania? Um, oh, I, I don't see his game. Wait, no, Daniel won. Daniel won. Wait, what? You said Daniel was losing. He won. Thank you to Psychotics for the Prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Jeffrey flagged. <laughs> Thank you, Chef Steph, for the two months. Appreciate it. I feel like I'm starting to play better now, though. I was resting on my couch. Okay, whatever. I, sorry. Again, everybody's good now. So even though I'm even though I'm crushing it so far, it's not. I'm not out of the woods yet. I still have to play good chess. I don't think this is a good opening a bullet. By the way, uh, whatever. I don't care. Oh, let's just castle. Beast. Uh, let's go here go here wait he just blunt did he blunder wait no maybe he didn't uh, I just gotta move let's go here oh that's just a free pawn what am I doing <sighs> okay let's focus Um, I'm gonna attack h5 maybe if I can rotate my horse somehow I've got good chances I gotta move quicker I feel like I'm moving too slowly again but the key is not to lose even draws are fine here just I can't afford to lose that's the main thing that's a good move um let's go here on queen e5 maybe I feel like I'm infiltrating though. I mean, maybe Queen H4 works, but I don't believe it does. Check. Now I lose this. Oh, I got to focus. Checkmate. <laughs> Checkmate. Okay, I don't have to focus because it's mate and one. Okay, good. All right, there we go. Okay, move 12 and a half out of 14. Dania is on 12 out of 14, doing pretty well also. Yeah. One more, and then I think we have another break. We have another break. Thank you to Chaotic for the two months. Hey, T1 ERX for the three months. Thank you so much. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if what I did was right, but I mean, again, in bullet chess, when players get low on time, if you're the one attacking, it's always easier to play than if you're defending. Always easier. There was a mate in one. There was no mate in one. There's no mate in one. Yeah, there's no mate in one. Okay, so right now it's a big fight. Where is uh, Ali Reza? Ooh, Ali Reza, did he win or not? I don't even see... Uh, whoa, I don't see Ali Reza anywhere near there. Okay. Dan is doing well. Yeah, he's having a good event too. The key is to just be super stable here. Just be stable. No losses and it's all good. Okay. 
I don't know why I played the King's India or this this, but I did. I mean, I'll go here. This might be bad. Um, this might be really bad. Oh wait, no, this doesn't work. Does it? It doesn't work. I just take. No, this just doesn't work. Or does it? No, this just doesn't work. He's full of Bologna. Shouldn't have done this either, but whatever. I think I can go here. Yeah, he takes, I take, and he's pinned, so this should just be GG's. Okay, whatever, I just take. Yeah, there we go. We got another win. We keep it rolling. Keep it rolling. 13 and a half out of 15. Let's watch Danya. Um, let's leave his game on. I don't know if Hikaru is even winning until he tells us. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's a good win. But this is what I was saying. Like, now I'm in the zone. Like, the thing, the key was, like, I, I started off a little bit, little bit less than, than Stellar uh, Queen. Okay, Daniel's going to win again. Daniel's on his way to qualifying here. Um, but what I was going to say is that, uh, is that, like, I was a little bit off form, but I was able to keep it, I was able to keep it within the zone. Um, okay, let's just check. I was able to keep it where it was close enough that, like, I'm able to turn it on now and it's getting better. That's the key. The game against Big Fish was really critical. If I lose that game, I mean, I assume I still find a way to qualify, but it's a real hash. But the fact that I drew that and now I've started to win some games is important. Okay, you guys, I think we have our second and final break of this event before the... Is this the second and final break or not? I don't know. There might be one more break, but um, but yeah, I'm playing well now. So yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna just clear my head. We have a six minute break, I think, and um, and then we come back and we have one more break after round 19. But we're in very good shape with six rounds to go. Again, top six qualify. So I'll be right back. All right. Okay. Uh. Uh. Mm. Okay, let's go. Okay. All right. Um, okay. So we are on the break, I believe, at the moment. Um, what are the standings? So currently, I'm on 13 and a half. Overlord Dance. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Daniel's on 13 out of um Daniel's on 13 out of 15. Big Fish still in third with 12 out of 15. Ali Resin now in fourth with 11. Um, Arjun is in fifth with 11 out of 15. Six is Jeffrey with 10 and a half. Big slew of people on 10 and a half here. So I think pretty soon, have I played everyone? I've played Daniel, I've played Big Fish, I've played Ali Reza. I assume I have to play Arjun next game. After that though, I mean, cause I also played Jeffrey too. I played Wonderful Time, I played Sip Elephant. Wow, so out of the top eight people, I've played six of them already, which is crazy. Um, so yeah, the only ones that I have not played are, are Arjun and Mikola. But that's crazy that I've, everyone else who's up there at the top around me is up there. A uh, format is top six qualified to a knockout tomorrow. So there will be 12 players tomorrow. I played Danya. Um, so 12 players qualify, six from this event, this 21 round bullet tournament. And then there's one right after, which is also 21 rounds. And the top six from that will also qualify. So yeah. Nike, let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, wonderful time is not a uh, levy. Wonderful time is um, wonderful time is uh, is um, Minley Minley. To, well, I don't I don't know his, his full name, but anyway, Minley. Yeah, ne Nepo and Magnus in the next qualifier. That'd be hilarious. I mean, I wouldn't be shocked if Nepo does it. Magnus does. That would be really OP. But the thing is, like, technically, we can play again. Like, you know, if, if say. Say Ali Reza finishes six and he doesn't want to play me in the first round tomorrow, whatever it is, he can then jump in the second one also. So Nepo is gonna play, okay. 
I mean, I think the big hope is that basically um, that after the, fir the first qualifier, like probably Nepo is hoping that none of us play in the second one. But I'm not sure that's correct because I, I think like there's a good chance people will play, but I'm not sure. So we'll see. Why is that Andrew using the North Korean flag? He's just trying to be funny. I, I mean, I don't really know why, but yeah. Uh, I think whoever doesn't qualify in this one will um, will play play tomorrow. Will play again. Oh, right, that's true. Top two is important because then you don't have to play the first match tomorrow. That's a good point. I didn't think about that. That's a good point. If someone qualifies twice, they use the higher score, higher ranking, and then I I don't know um, what they do beyond that. I have not lost any games. I've drawn three games. I drew Wonderful Time. I drew, um, sorry, we gotta go. Get out my back door. I just blunder shoot. I blunder but he missed it. Let's go here, Tark the Knight. This is just GG's. I blundered a juicer there. He could have he could have won the game. He he missed it. I blundered a juicer. Um he could have gone queen before and he this is just a classic puzzle rush. He do, he just does a double double and hits two things at the same time. And I, I I mean maybe I can still go knight c4 and knight d6 six. Wait, maybe the game still goes on here. Wait, actually maybe my blunder is not a blunder. Huh. It's not a blunder. Wow. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, it's not actually a blunder because after takes knight d6, somehow his queen is really boxed. He has like no squares on the diagonal. And I mean, maybe he goes here and it's still, I mean, but even queen e2, I go rookie one, hit the queen. It's still actually weirdly messy. Anyway, this is the classic Kikaru blunder where I make a blunder and it's not really a blunder. So happens. All right, we're on 14 and a half. Okay, Daniel's on 14. Uh, we're looking pretty good. Now the gap is widening, which is important. Blunder is so good, it's actually a trap. <laughs> totally, totally. But yeah, Daniel's looking very solid today also. 14 out of 16, he's avoided some tilt. Um, so it's, he's looking pretty solid too. I think he also had a bad start like me as well though. I'm not, no, 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 I'm, I'm focused on just playing good chess. But I feel like I've got the, I feel like I'm in the flow now. I feel like I've got that flow zone, the rhythm. So I'm feeling good. What's with the hand camera? Uh, well, this is competitive. I know it's bullets, so of course cheating is impossible no matter what. But I always use, I try to use two cams for competitive. That's why. Yeah, ever since, okay, this is probably the last very serious game where I need to play good chess. Oh, let's do this. Here. Got to move quicker. I'm moving too slowly.
I'm mating him here. What is that? Mm, come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's keep rolling. We got the win. Good. Okay. Get the win. Let's watch Daniel. Who's he playing? He's playing Sib Elephant. Tight game. Tight game. Daniel is going to win. He's going to win. He's going to win. Okay, so Daniel's going to win. So I think um, I think it's pretty clear who the top two spots are going to be at this point. I think very likely it's going to be Daniel and myself. Um, so yeah, pretty good. We also look at this gap. We've, op we've opened up a huge gap. It's now two and a half points. So we're almost, I think we're almost guaranteed to qualify. Now, what did I say was going to, I thought six would be 16, right? I thought 16, but apparently I'm very wrong. Um, it's going to be a lot lower. Wow. Yeah, so, I mean, I think it's almost guaranteed Daniel and I are going to be top two. Um, we've got four rounds to go. I mean, yeah, four rounds. Someone wins out the 16. I don't think all these guys are going to win out, so it's not going to be 16. It's, yeah. Can't engines be crazy? Oh, wait, sorry. I got to play my next game. Okay. I almost do this. Sorry, I got to move. I'm going to play standard, I think. I think you did a diamond for the, uh, for the prime. Sorry, I got, I got to focus. I'm gonna go here, here. Now I guard, I guard the bishop. I think I just take. Go here. One of three. I have F three. Line it up. I'm I'm in the groove now. I can feel it. Doesn't mean this is guaranteed to win, but I'm in the groove. And I don't even care if there's a draw. Wait, what did I just do? Wait, he's got king f5. He's got tricks. Have to be careful. There we go. Come on, let's go. We got the win, keep rolling. 16 and a half out of 18, I think. Okay, let's watch Daniel's game. Daniel's losing to Andrew. Oh, Daniel gets sauced by Andrew. As I said before, you guys, Andrew is the guy, when, when you get down to five seconds or left, less on the clock, he is by far and away the best player in the world. I don't think it's even close. When you get in a mad time scramble at the end, his technique is the best of anybody. And it's it's not even close, I don't think. As you see, this end game was a classic end game. Black is up two pawns, better. Both players have three seconds. Andrew won this. Um, I don't think I would have won this against Daniel, probably even. Um, but Andrew, again, just typical, just unbelievable technique. Unbelievable technique. Crazy. We play Konovets. Um, I guess I'll play stand, standard or non-standard. Let's play. Let's play standard. Okay, I'm gonna rotate. Um, this is such a so hard to play in a bullet game. He just blundered a pawn or something. 
Uh, let's go here. This is actually tricky, so I have to be very careful. Game over. Okay, we win again. Move to 17 and a half out of 19. Let's watch... Um, Daniel is on his way to a win here. This is actually kind of important for Daniel because he doesn't want to have to play tomorrow. So a win here pretty much locks up second for him, I think. Important for Daniel that he gets a win here so that he locks up second and doesn't have to play tomorrow. Think of Team NT 2000 for the Prime. Classicals with the Tier 1. DM Red with the Prime. Silent Cats with the Prime. Mr. Swez with the 10 months. Diamond for the 3 again. Thank you to Kathy for the 4. Real Life Actuary for the 9 months. Shabon Zabon Zabans for the 2 months. Thank you so much. Uh, sorry, you guys, if I have notifications turned off, but this is Bullet. So, yeah. Who wants to play tomorrow? To think they totally intended with the Prime? Who wants to play tomorrow? I don't understand. What? I'm not guaranteed. Actually, am I? Actually, I'm, no, I am guaranteed top two regardless because Jeff, there are only two rounds left and Jeffrey can win two and get to 16 and a half. So yeah, so I'm guaranteed to actually get a buy into, into the second round tomorrow. I kept saying he should win so he doesn't have to play tomorrow. Yeah. Oh, oh, I meant, sorry. He doesn't have to play the first match tomorrow is what I meant. But yeah, anyway, it looks pretty sealed. I guess technically Jeffrey could catch Daniel, but I think it's a long shot. Um, the difference between now and your earlier games and... The difference between your earlier games and now is complete flow. Yeah, I mean, I'm in the flow. I got the flow zone going. So, um, so yeah. I mean, the flow is there because you can tell, like, the way that I'm playing, it's just, like, the moves are coming. They're good. They're crisp. They're clean. And they're fast. Above all else, like, I'm, now I'm getting up, like, the 5 to 10 seconds every game. And I'm just, like, I'm mopping it up. Uh, the reason you can't really cheat in bullet is um, because in, in order to cheat precisely, like, in, in a normal game, you need a computer to think for, like, 3 to 4 seconds to come up with a precise evaluation. And the other coin, flip side of the coin is it, the only other way an engine could do it is it moves instantly. But if it's playing good moves instantly, like one second, that's blatantly obvious. So you can't really cheat in bullet. It's just not possible. Um, but yeah. Okay, I think we're on a... Is, this the, is there a break? Let me see. Is this a break? This might be the final break. Let's see. It's a break? Okay, it's a break. I'm going to go out, do a couple of push-ups, and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys. So, um, what is this? I see King E2s. Oh, no. Uh, no, you guys. I can't bond cloud because my rating is still a very disappointing 34-32. Um, I want to get to, I want to get to back to 3,600. So this is very disappointing. So no, I can't play a bond cloud. Um, thirty four hundred. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I don't, I mean, I could play a bond cloud. I mean, a bullet, if anything, it, it's going to work better in bullet than anything else. But yeah, like, I mean. I mean, I don't know though. Was there a pull on it? Yes. Oh, there was. Was there a pull? Okay. No, I can't play Jeffrey. I already beat Jeffrey early in the event, so I can't play Jeffrey. There was a prediction on it. Okay, well, thank you, Ben Car One. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to see Lance Luna for the tier one. Thank you, Ben Carl, for the three. Thank you, Jawsmog for the thirteen. Pretty good event, though. I mean, once I hit the flow after that, once I got that draw against Big Fish and I hit the flow, then it all kind of started going together, and um, and it's been pretty good ever since. So pretty pretty happy thus far.
Well, I don't know if I'm getting white or black next round. I mean, we'll see. We'll see. So, we'll see. <laughs> I, I'm going to find out. Let me let me see what, what Chespe wrote. wrote. Um, okay, one second. Sorry, it's my move. Okay, we're playing Sinan. We're playing Sugarov. I know I'm mispronouncing it, but whatever. Okay, let's go here. Actually, why did I do this? This is kind of dubious. Okay, whatever. Okay, we're gonna have the same Ali Reza thing. Ali Reza and I had this, right? What is this? I go here? What is this? Let's go here. I feel like I'm gonna attack. This is not a good opening choice by me, by the way, but whatever. I think I'm winning though, I just take. He's just getting barrelized. Or he's getting batter batteried. Batterized. Well, whatever I'm saying. I don't know what I'm speaking. Speaking gibberish. Anyway, there's a battery lined up, and I think he's just close to lost already. No, actually he's not lost. Wait, I have to go here. This is very tricky. Wait a second. Yeah, that's just not expecting that. Wait, let's go here. Okay, now I'm gonna win the game, I think. Okay, now I just win, yeah. Okay, let's go here. This is still tricky, it does have tricks though. I have to be careful not to get mated. But I just run the king up and it's GG's. Okay, we got another win. Um, and we moved to 18 and a half out of 20. Pretty, 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 um, pretty stout result so far. Can't complain. Um, yeah, so pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty, pretty, pretty good. Um, so we have 18 and a half out of 20. So we're obviously guaranteed first. Danny, I think, oh, Dan did, no, Danny, Danny was still going. So he wins. Okay, so top two are guaranteed. I'm going to finish first. Danny's going to finish second. Um, pretty good stuff. Thank you to Josh Carnese for the prime. Thank you to Jazzy Cow for the prime. Thank you so much to Muat BH for the three bucks. I just finished my first OGB tournament. It was rapid. And I qualified for the national championship. I was inspired by you. Awesome. Congrats, man. Congrats. Penguin beat Ali Reza. Oh, wow. Ali Reza actually is still going. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is Ali Reza out? I think Ali Reza is not going to qualify in this first one. He's on um, 13 out of 20. Six is 13 and a half. He has a chance, but it looks like he has very bad tie breaks. Now that I look at the 13s. He has very bad tie breaks. So, okay. No bongs against GM Dretch. Um Wait, I gotta move faster. Oh, I didn't mean to do that, whatever. Okay, what am I doing? I just gotta move fast. So let's go here. Oh, it's Chuck, I, I forgot it was Chuck. I blundered upon. This game's been a bad game. I'm playing this very, very badly. Luckily, it doesn't matter at this point. But wait, what's that? That's a free pawn. Ba -ba -da -bum -ba. Okay, now I get the. I think I should win now, actually. He's way down on the clock. I think I can go here. Let's go here. I'm gonna go H4. Yo no soy marinero. Yo no soy marinero. Capitan, soy capitan, soy capitan. Ba, ba, bamba. Ba, ba, bamba. Okay, he goes there. I think I go here on Queen, e, Queen A1. 
Oh wait, what did I just check and mate? Okay. Okay, we get the win. 19 and a half out of 21. Pretty good. Um, ended pretty well. Pretty good stuff. Good stuff. Big shout out to 25,000 you guys who are watching uh, as we play in the Bullet Open Championship. As I've mentioned before, this is a. Um, there are two qualifiers. The tournaments are 21 rounds. Top six players qualify out of both. And then tomorrow we will play a 12 player knockout. Um, Anyway, this first event is over. I'm going to finish in first place. Daniel's going to finish in second. Um, no, I lost no games. Three draws. Three draws pretty early. Not bad for a pro streamer. Eh, it happens. I will never get tired of your car thinking you messed up, but then he checkmates in like three moves. <laughs> yeah. No, I just play, I just play fast chess. Okay, so I finished first, 19 and a half out of 21. Daniel's second, 18 out of 21. Jeffrey is third. Fourth is Big Fish. Fifth is uh, Sib Elephant. Sixth is Wonderful Time. And nowhere to be seen is Ali Reza. So Ali Reza finishes in 20th on 13 out of 21. So he's going to have to make a big comeback in the second one, which will start in um, 10 minutes. Uh, and I'm going to do coverage of it now. So I'm going to cover the... Uh, I'm going to cover it. The top three players were all Americanos. Exactly, yes. America. America first. America first, USSR last. Look at that. Uh, there we go. All right. Um, anyway, um, yeah. So I finished first. Daniel finished second. Third is Jeffrey, and then you have all the all the Soviets. Um, okay. So yeah, <laughs> I'm joking, of course. But anyway, um, yeah. So uh, yeah, yeah. Um, okay. So yeah, okay, so this one's over. Next one is gonna start in about 10 minutes. And since I qualified, I'm gonna do coverage now of the second qualifier um, as well. So pretty good stuff, can't complain. Yeah, good stuff. Thank you to Dat Hot Dodgy for the tier one. Thank you to Jajolo for the two months. Um, yeah, 19 and a half out of 21 is pretty insane, but to give you an insane idea of how insane the ratings are, I only gained like, I only gained like 30 points. Despite, I gave three draws and I won I won 18 games, 18 wins, and three draws. I gained like 30 points, which is, I mean, if you think about it, it's pretty insane. Just completely insane. Yeah, I, you guys, come on, I'm troll. I, I'm, I'm, I'm trolling. Of course, of course, it's Russia. Of course, we're not in the Cold War. Thank you, chaotic dust for the 500 bits. Appreciate it. Relax, you guys. Deep breaths. Relax. No, I know I can play during the second one, but I I, I don't need the elo boost. Um, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna do commentary. Arjun missed by one tie break. Ooh ooh, one seventy four and a half to one seventy five. Yeah, one point. Ooh, that is pretty harsh actually. I'm not gonna play. I'm not gonna play. Thank you to Go Gokus Maxim Maximilius. Uh, thank you. So thank you to uh, Go Killis Maximus for the two months. And we're going to watch the second one. It starts in about eight minutes. Um, so I guess I'll close this. Uh, it should be here. So I'm just going to pop it up. And I'm gonna I'm just going to watch the second one. And we're going to do commentary. Um, who do you guys want me to start out following? Ali Reza, Andrew, um, Bortnik, Raunak. Thank you to Tommy J. Salami for the tier one. Follow Andrew? Okay. Actually, let's do a poll on that. Let's do a poll. Okay, we're gonna do a poll, you guys. We'll do a poll. So I'll, I'm gonna watch someone just the first three rounds, not the whole event. I'll, I'll, after like the first like six, seven rounds, I'll rotate every which way. But um, yeah. Okay, let's see. I guess I'll do it. One second. One second. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's see. Okay, we're doing a poll. We'll do a poll. Let's see. Pretty close. Andrew and Ali Reza. Okay.
Okay, 54%. Okay, it's looking like we're gonna be watching Ali Rez at the start. I mean, I think the thing for Ali Reza, though, is he has to avoid tilt. That's the thing. No love for Bortnik? No, apparently not. Um, okay, so I think we're going to start by following uh, Ali Reza. Okay, so we'll watch Ali Reza start. Um, I'm going to take one quick break because we're, we're going to buckle up. And I think it's like 10 or 11, is it 10 rounds before the break? So I'm going to buckle up, go use the restroom again. And I'll be right back in uh, like two minutes. All right, you guys, we are back. Um, I'm going to turn off the second cam because I don't, I don't need it on. This is Darude Sandstorm. Oh, did Reggie write something in here? I saw someone saying Reggie. I didn't see, was he here? Oh, wait a second. Actually, actually, wait a second. Um, one second. So apparently I need to watch a video. What is this? What is this? What is this? One second. I, I guess I need to watch this. What is this? One second. Um, what is this? Let's go here. Okay, let's let's watch this clip quickly. What is this? Or actually, let me change the scene. This should be better. What is this? Okay. Wait, one second. It's it's better. It's better just watch it like this. Okay, first of all, you guys, this by the way, this this is the kitchen here, right around right outside. So if I go like. Five feet away, this is actually the, the uh, kitchen where I'm at. Um, so this is the facility. Right, that's literally just around the corner. Okay, whatever, whatever. By the way, just to be clear, in this ad, none of this stuff is here. This is the kitchen, which I I literally was there like 10 minutes ago. There's nothing here. There are no plants. Everything else is good, but the, the coffee machine exists as well. However, of course, since I have my own water, water boiler, I just make my own instant coffee. I don't use the espresso machine. But that's the only thing in the kitchen that actually is legit here. Everything else, like these plants aren't there, and there's nothing, there's nothing on the um on the uh, on the kitchen either. <laughs> that's a great video that's a great video that's a great video anyway okay let's get back to um let's get back to the chess uh that that's pretty funny that i mean I, of course i i think i was playing something i might have been playing uh i might have been playing um i might have been playing uh playing i might have been playing in the speech chess championship when they were filming there because i kept hearing a beeping noise Oh no, sorry you guys, I was playing in the skilling. I was playing in the skilling open. Um, I was playing in the skilling open and they were literally recording right around the corner. So, um, you know, I, th I think I was able to, to do okay, but they literally were filming right around the corner, so it was pretty rough. Thank you to Anna for the raid with 445 people. Thank you so much to Anna Cramling. Thank you. Thank you to Sunny for the three bucks. Thank you to Sweden, it was awesome. Um, Uh, again, you guys will turn the notifications back on, but but we turned them off because so I was playing. Thank you, Spied for the Prime, Daft Chap with the Prime, Tommy Salami with the Tier 1, Got Milk with the 5 months. Thank you to um, One Temper for the 2, and Skull for the 7. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to um, the Gaming Milk as well for 2 months. Okay, so let's watch. Um, Ali Reza is black. Okay, he's going to play the Modern Defense. Pretty standard so far. Good stuff. Whoa, thank you to John Z. Thank you for the 10 gifted sub or five gifted subs. Sorry, I thought I saw 10. Thank you for the five gifted. Okay, sharp position. Ali Reza is doing well, but he needs to not tilt here. This is dangerous. Knight g3. Very dangerous position. Knight g3, knight of five. Ali Reza is in bat knight of five. Uh, takes. 
I mean, I think he's gonna survive because the guy is just not that good, but I mean, eh, it's sketchy. Yeah, he's gonna survive this, but very sketchy first game. There's, is Rook G5 still F4? This is very dangerous, like E5 or Queen B4? Yeah, E5? Whoa, this is quite dangerous, actually. I mean, I think black is okay here. Takes and rook g8 should survive. But I mean, like, queen g2? I mean, he's going to win, but ooh, this is a very shaky first game from Ali Reza. He's going to win this, but very... Sh oh, well, that's a free queen. I mean, that's not going to get done. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah. Hmm. Oh, sorry, this is Rakesh. He works at chess.com. Um, but yeah, he uh, he actually was doing very well in this game. So, shaky first game. Let's let's move around the horn. Let's watch board next game. Uh, he's in trouble here, potentially. A G4? I mean, he'll probably win this, but very sketchy. No, not knight of five. Dude, what are you doing, Zenzo? Terrible technique by Zenzo. I mean, as we say... Not good. <laughs> yeah, I qualified in the first one. Nepo is playing, right? Oh, Nepo's only watching? Nepo's not playing? No, surely Nepo's playing, right? No, he's not. Oh, Nepo's not playing? What? I'm not playing because I qualified in the first one. Thank you, appreciate it. Okay, round two, let's see. Um, I'm I'm gonna do commentary on this one. Why don't I qual I qualify because I won the first one. So I'm just gonna watch this. Uh, I watched thir 30 ads in the first 20 minutes of joining the stream. Start sorry you guys, um apologies, but they're gonna be no ads until the next break, which will be like Nine rounds or eight rounds or a very, very deep first set. set. Oops. Oh, well, I mean, Ali Reza, I mean, he's going to win the game, but I don't like it. His play feels very tilty. The style of, of, of um, um, I mean, he's going to win this game because his opponent just isn't good enough objectively, but it, his play feels very tilty. I it just, it feels tilty. And Bishop H6 is an incredible move, Um, I thought. Oh, no, it's not actually. No, it's not. Bishop G6 is good. Um, but it just, the play is a little bit tilty here. Okay, so white is just much better. I mean, bishop h4, nice technique. Bishop g3, also a good move. Um, should be winning for white. I mean, Ali Rez is a little bit slow here. But it's not gonna matter because the position is black's the one who's defending, so because of that, white should white should survive. There was rook g2 there though. King d3. Rook e7. Here, here. I mean, I'm not sure how easy this is to win. Now, I mean, now he's gonna win king d4. But then rook c2. Okay, he goes to rook f2, which is a nice move. And now king d5, and now white will just win. Yeah, so, I mean... Wait, but Ali Reza is still slow, though. He's still slow. Here? Here? I mean, he's going to win just because he's, because his opponent is too slow, but, I mean, very shaky. Very shaky from Ali Reza. Couldn't Farooz a sheep by watching the stream? Um, no, because I, I, there's a three second delay, so he would lose time. Thank you, Jam XTV, for the prime. Thank you, C Sleep, for the two months. Appreciate it. Thank you.
Okay, so let's watch this game. Okay, let's see. There's this game between Gabix. This guy, by the way, Gabix drew me. Gabix drew me in the um in the th in the third round, I think, or fourth round of the first event. So he's very dangerous. Okay, b4, bishop g5. Okay, pretty standard. Knight d2, b4, b5. A3 is a little bit wasted, wasted tempo. He could have played b4 right away. b4, b5. I don't like rook f8. Again, I feel like Ali Rez is a little bit tilty for some reason. It just, his play feels a little bit tilty. And I don't really know why, because, I mean, it's it's a fresh new event. First event is over. Um, but he just, it feels tilty. He, he'll, he'll probably find a way to qualify, but it just, it doesn't feel quite right somehow. Uh, I will cover Andrew, by the way, of course. I'm just starting here. Knight, knight h4? I mean, takes and... I mean, this is the thing. Like, this is very dangerous. Rook b7 is coming? I mean... Rook b7? Queen d6, I guess? Takes, takes, takes. Queen g2, e4? I mean... Queen g2? He sees it. Good move. I mean, I know this is... He's probably going to win this game, but this just feels so tilty. Um, wow. Okay, rook g7's a move. Rook g7. Wait, what? Rook f5, he has to go rook g7. And then takes rook f5. No, I think Ali Rez is going to have to draw this game. Queen b2 is also very strong there. Queen h3? Queen d2? Queen e2, queen e2. What? Queen d7. Oh no. Do you take and go queen f4? Oh no, he's gonna lose. Queen f4. King g2. GG's. I told you guys. I, I told you guys that I had this feeling Ali Rez was on tilt. It's just GG's. Wow. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not here to say I told you so, but it's just the, 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 the flow of the moves and the rhythm, it feels like he's just, it just, it fills off. It just does. Um,. So, yeah, I don't know if this will tilt him, but yeah, it just, uh, yeah, just, just the flow, just the flow. I don't know. I don't know. Just the flow didn't seem right. Okay. So he loses the game early. Um, but again, luckily it's a very long tournament. So we're going to unfollow Ali Reza. Um, we're going to follow the Andrew man. Gabix Drazi Karim beats um beats beats uh, Ali Reza. Yeah, I mean Gabix is a good player. I played him in Blitz before, and he's very very he's very talented. What did I say? Did I say something wrong? What? What do you mean unfollowed? What did I do? Okay, so we have GM. We have John John Ludwig Hammer against uh, Andrew Andrew Tang. What? Oh, I meant I, I meant I'm, I'm following him on chess.com. That's what I meant. Sorry. Okay. Clean. Oh, there's bishop f6 here in e4. Knight c4. Oi, Andrew. Oh, Andrew. Oi, 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 oi. Uh, I don't like bishop f6 actually. Okay, queen e2. And now he blunders. John Ludwig is going to be raging. He was winning and he just blundered it all away. He got his knight trapped. <laughs> oh, John Ludwig. Oh, my. Oh, boy. Hammer is not laughing. Oh, I'm sure he's not laughing. I'm sure he's raging. He's raging. I'm sure he's raging inside. He's furious. Mm hmm. Okay, but Andrew actually misplayed this because now the king gets in. This actually Andrew's still in trouble. He's misplayed this. He's in trouble again. King f3 takes. He's in trouble, but I think he's gonna win because Jan Ludwig is just too slow here. Knight d4, knight e3, knight c2. Of course he just blunders this. Knight a1 and bishop b2 looks winning, right? Yep. Mm-hmm. Why am I not competing because I qualified in the first event? Oh, 
Oops, free rook. Yeah, not gonna cut it. Okay. Um, so Andrew moves to four out of four as well. Pretty pretty solid start. Favorite should be Andrew, Andrew, Ali Reza, and Bortnik based on the ratings. Um, let's watch Bortnik. What are my peripherals? Um, um <gasps> Bortnik loses. <gasps> <gasps> Bortnik loses. Oh, wow. So Bortnik drops a point early, too. Wow. Um, wow. Okay. So let's see. What, what are the standings? So, like, Bortnik and Ali Reza both dropped one point very early in the event. Kind of crazy. Magnus is not playing. No, he's not. Um, but this is insane. This is crazy. The upsets are flowing today. Really, really flowing. Okay, so we have Penguin versus Kazakh Fighter. Um, again, we'll keep an eye. Oh, it's funny. You know, I could actually join the event now five rounds in, which is pretty funny, but I'm not going to. Um, let's see. Okay, we have... Uh, are we going to have a beef eater? Beef eater? No beef eater. He plays D6, not C5. Um, <laughs> do it. Yeah, do it for the memes. Yeah. Okay, uh, Andrew's doing amazingly well. He has E5, he castles. Uh, he should maybe take, yeah, takes an E5 and E5. Some combo of E5 and castles in rookie one, and white's just sauce and black. E5, yeah, GG's. Come again, come again next time. I don't know why Andrew's made his flag North Korea. I mean, I think it's a little bit weird. Um, it's because obviously there's, a, I assume it's just a joke, but it's just weird. Um, yeah, at any rate, let's see. Knight F5, good move, rookie one, of course, obviously. Yep. Just eight. I think you take with the H pawn. Yeah, you do because you keep the queen on a four now. Ninety four GGs. Ninety four game over. Mm hmm. Yeah. Peripheral question. Yeah, I think if you type X clam, um, X is X clam specs. Yeah, X clam specs. There you get all the information, you guys. So I just typed it into chat. You should see it now. So uh, there are all my specs. Thank you, forty one Mitch, for the tier two. Thank you, forty one Mitch. Thank you, X Lee Stike Striker for the prime, and thank you to. Uh, all blue for the prime as well. Uh, again, no G3 except checkmate. Just, just GG's. No, there's no actual way to stop the mate either. Um, every square is covered. So nice one for Andrew. Uh, he's off to five out of five. Thank you, DXXXN, for the prime. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Okay, so five games in the book so far. So we keep keep going. All right, so Andrew's on five out of five. Uh, Tamir and Abadi also on five. Nihal, where is Ali Reza's on four, right? Uh, why do I see Ali Reza? Wait, am I blind? Am I blind? Wait, where is Ali Reza? Wait, I must be blind. I don't see him. Where is he? I don't see him. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me see. Let, let, let me um, let me close this game. Let me look for it. No, he is on four, right? I think he is. Yeah, no, he is. He is. Okay, his name showed up now. Yeah, yeah. His name wasn't there and it just showed up. Wow, that was crazy because I didn't see his name. I was like, what's going on? That would have been really, really weird. Okay. Okay, we have a classic uh, classic tricks by Andrew. Uh, he just blundered. <laughs> oh, but the order was he could have taken first and taken and it was winning. Actually, what he should have done is he just, uh, he just takes... Queen takes takes and is guaranteed juice, but he does it the other order, so he's only up a pawn. That being said, it's a pretty good pawn. He can just go launch on the queen king side. Maybe queen b6 is good. Still, I feel like there's got to be some queen move. This one or that one. Some some lobster pincer. Um, I think this is over. Maybe knight f5. Maybe f6 actually. F6 might be a good move here. 
Um, there's gotta be something. Yeah, G4 and just GG's. He had to go F6 here. That was the only move to hold all the glue and then check, you go over. Um, but he does this and now it's just really bad. I'm amazed that he can even try to commentate. Okay, Queen H6 and Knight H4, game over, splat. Um, that's that's it. Let's keep moving around the horn. Let's watch uh, let's watch Ali Reza's game here against Poultice. Ali Reza, he's gonna win. Okay, that's good. Um, let's move on. What else do we have? We have Brandon Jacobson in a very messy game, probably just losing. Knight of no wait, no, actually Queen C4. Okay, Knight of seven, maybe it's good enough. White's down on time. White should lose, down six seconds. See if uh, Toyko's or Toivo's technique holds up. Rookie four, rook f4 is better. Knight e4 and trade the trade the rooks. Knight e2. Okay, but you can't take. Yeah. Oops, big blunder. Big blunder. Okay, Toivko is gonna win here. H5. Thank you for the four months that you just stomp you for the 19. Um Recommendations for 1600 online improve. Um, you're at the stage where I think um, you should be studying games specifically in whatever opening setups you play. Up. Just like look at the top games that Magnus has played, for example, or I've played, or any number of the top players, and try to go through the games move by move to try to understand what the ideas are. Um, beyond that, if, if that's a little bit too complicated, I would say look for specific videos on YouTube or on chess.com or any site basically where you have uh, you have masters explaining the ideas in those games and in those openings okay um why are you guys pogoing me what did i do okay what do we have for standings andrew is still cruising six out of six he's he's looking very sharp ali reza is still in fifth five out of six as we saw from my performance um you can drop some points early but then you have to really stay sharp and focused so let's see what happens here Okay, so Toivo is playing Andrew. Um, this is round seven, I believe. Nihal lost? Wow. Who? Ah, Ali Reza. Ah, okay. Um, I mean, I, I think the support comes from the French, French Chess Federation. I think they are supporting him since he, I assume, is going to play for France in the future. Um, beyond that, I don't really know if there are specifics. Okay, knight e4, of course, but then bishop e7 holds the juice. Although there is rook d1 and knight d6. Okay, bishop b5, obviously. Um, if you castle, there's queen h6. Maybe rook d8 or f5. f5 is a good move. Rook d8. Okay, knight c4, also good. Um, okay, knight b2, of course. Or wait, no, there's queen e5 there. So no, he goes h6. Yeah, if knight b2, there's queen e5, which is... Queen e5! Oh, he missed queen e5 with the with the big big double double. Queen e5 is winning for white, I think. Oh, that's a huge miss by Toivo. And Andrew might see it now. That being said, it's a very unhappy position for Andrew because his king is stuck in the center of the board here. So it's a little bit messy. At the same time, white has to prove that it's good. And I don't think white will. Just back, knight e4 maybe? But then bishop g5. Yeah, this is very hard to play because Black's King, Black doesn't have the development. Knight d4. Knight d4 is very good. Knight d4. Ooh, ooh. Okay, knight d4 was better for that exact reason. But white has to go. White's moving too slowly here. Andrew, 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 time. Okay, knight d4, of course. Oh, he blunders knight c3, and now Andrew's going to turn it around and win. Yeah, Andrew's gonna win because he, if uh, if Toivo had maybe like ten seconds more, he would he would win. But Toivo doesn't have enough of a time edge to win this, so he's gonna lose. Yeah, he just doesn't have enough time. <laughs> so Andrew wins. Um, okay, let's see. Um, what else do we have? Okay, Ali Reza won, so he's on six out of seven. This is probably gonna be the big matchup pretty soon. Ali Reza against Andrew. Um, if Andrew beats Ali Reza, Ali Reza's in really bad shape again. It's a really precarious situation. What's my position? I already qualified in the first first event, so I'm just watching and commentating on this one. Am I done playing? Uh, I mean, Bullet for now, definitely with Bullet, yeah. 
Oh, Dr. Velia, yeah, I beat him 15-0. This is true. Yeah, this is a good point. Okay, next, okay, here we go. The big matchup for all the marbles. Ali Reza versus versus Andrew. Very important, I think, for Ali Reza here that he doesn't lose this game. I think if he loses this game, he still can qualify, obviously, but the tilt tilt factor is gonna be strong within him. So important game here. Of course, d6 here, uh, c5. Yeah, who's going to win this game, you guys? Ali Reza or Andrew? Knight c6 is strong here because of knight d5. I would have gone knight d5 there, but this is also good. Queen d7 only move, I think, to not be lost. I mean, knight d5 is move. I would probably take and go bishop d5, actually, but queen d2 is still good. Again, I feel like you, you have to take advantage here. There's got to be something. Queen f4? Queen f4 and line it up. Yeah, this is very strong. And now d6 hangs, but you can go queen e8. Because then of rook d6, you have the g5 with the fork. So queen e8 is the only move here. And you have to be careful not to get forked. So he goes bishop f6 correctly. Knight g6. Bishop d8. There was a free rook. 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 F3. But now there's d4, d3. This is tricky still. Queen, queen f6 allows knight h5. So I think Ali Rez is going to win here. Knight h5, queen c5. Yeah, rook c1 is also a nice touch. Yeah, Andrew's going to lose here. Yeah, yeah, I mean, very... Uh, Ali Reza wins anyway, but very, very iffy. Knight b2 is a rook c2? King e1? Okay, and he wins, yeah. g5, just run the juicer up the board. I mean, Alirez is going to win, right? It's not stalemate. Yeah, king g1. <laughs> it's not quite stalemate, almost. A really dirty trick would have been the other way to go, uh, to go here. Because then if you take a stalemate, king has no squares, the rook cuts all the squares. So rook a5 is a way to try to make the stalemate, but of course white can just throw in a check first and then eat the rook um, and win the game. So okay, so so uh, so Ali Reza moves to 7 out of 8. Uh, Andrew's on 7 out of 8. Uh, I don't think An Andrew did not qualify in the first one, right? I don't think he qualified. So he's actually trying really hard to qualify here too. Uh, six people qualify. We want Rocket League, Pog. Uh, Rocket League? <laughs> yeah, Daniel qualified. I finished first, Daniel finished second. Third was, um... Uh, it wasn't Big Fish. Who was... It was Jeffrey. Jeffrey Zhang. Fourth place was, um... Was, uh, was Big Fish. Vladimir Fedo said fifth place was, I believe, Sib Elephant or Artemiev in sixth place. Who was sixth? Was it Arjun? No, it was no, it was wonderful time. Wonderful time. A chess warrior is not Artemiev. Chess warrior is a Noterbek Abdu Satorov from Uzbekistan, a sixteen year old, sixteen years old. Okay, what's going on here? Uh, Andrew is doing pretty well. Ninety six takes takes rook d eight though. Still, the game goes on. Show must go on. Bishop b four maybe just drop back maybe. I would just drop back. I don't like this because now. Uh, white's up a pawn, but you don't have the right structure. So black can start to play for this, uh, this weakness. E5, very good move. Uh, I don't like this knight here. This knight looks very iffy. It's gonna get, it's gonna get stuck, I think. Wait, no, but now you just lose. There's classic, there's classic. Come on. Just takes queen g4, knight g6. What are you thinking about, Andrew? Oh, come on. Queen g4. Come on, dude. Here. And then you check, and then you take the rook, because it's just winning. What is c4? I mean, I guess this is still, he's still going to win anyway, but that was terrible. Uh, B5 is strong. Takes and rook B1. Yeah, nice.
Okay, um, of course, I mean, all that, all that Andrew has to do is avoid some kind of a uh, back ring nonsense. And he takes and yeah, he was mopping it up again. Although now, no, it's still just losing. I mean, just check C6. Everything just wins here. Rookie five. It's all over. 98. Yep. Okay, so Andrew's looking pretty, pretty stout so far. Eight out of nine. Pretty good. Pretty good. Um, so, yeah. No, so so far pretty good for Andrew. Pretty good for uh, Ali Reza, too. Um, wait, Ali Reza's still playing. Let's watch this game. He is playing Nihal, and he is winning. Yeah, he's winning here. E6. Yeah, he's just winning. Okay. So, not surprising, I suppose, that he wins also. Um, they're, they're on eight out of nine. How many qualify top six? Top six qualify. Why do I play? Because I played the first qualifier and I, I qualified. Also, I think it'd be kind of wrong the fact that I'm qualified to play the second one too. Uh, because potentially it's like Andrew and Ali Reza are trying to qualify and I don't think it would be right to basically be playing. So I I, I think it's, I, I don't think it's right. Yeah, I don't think it's right. I was on CNN. I don't think I was, but thank you. Um, okay, here we go. Round 10, we'll watch Andrew. He's playing against Arjun Aragassi, who missed qualifying in the first one by one point. I mean, it's it's not right, I don't think, objectively. Like, if there if there was prize money for the individual tournament or some something else, I think it would be reasonable, but I don't think it's right when when there's nothing on the line and you're just I'm on I'm on CNBC. Very funny, yeah. Very funny. Okay. Um Arjun's playing a Ben Oni Wan Kenobi, knight ninety five or knight h five here. No bishop h2 because you lose a juicer. Actually, this is not great. You take the juicer, take it. Queen f2, I guess. I think Andrew just blundered this. Now bishop d4. I mean, this looks bad. Knight d3. B5. B5. But now white gets to attack. I thought b5 was really good there. B5 or knight c4. He takes. He wants to go a3, rook b8, and just sauce him on the b file. White doesn't have a quick attack here. So rook b8, of course. Andrew's going to lose this game. If, if, if Arjun is sharp here, Andrew's going to lose. There's a big sack coming too. Big sack. Knight g4 and knight g4 and bishop c3. And boom! Everything falls apart in half a second. And Andrew's going to have to resign. I mean, he'll try to play on, but boom. Takes. Bishop e5. I mean, Arjun's up 12 seconds here. He really should win this. Queen b3. Or knight f6 and bishop g4 is also strong. Yeah, this is just really bad for Andrew. c4. c4 actually was really good. You can't take. And you're hitting the queen. I mean, if Arjun is fast, he's going to win. Knight f2 or rook g3 both win. Yeah, if Arjun is faster, he wins this game. Knight h2. Okay. Bishop h3. Check and checkmate. There's no, there's nothing good here though. I mean Andrew could still win the check and mate. There you go. Tough loss for Andrew he loses. Thank you to uh, Hussy81 for the five gifted subs. Thank you so much to Hussy. Thank you to K or six for the four months. Thank you to Moses for the tier one. UTW ue 4 tw for the prime and Blabshim for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Um, no, no, no. Uh, Penguin lost. He got checkmated. This is round ten. So let's take a look at the standings. We have Tamir versus uh, Ali Reza, d6, rook c6. Rook c6, very clean. Should be a win for Ali Reza, although he doesn't have much time. But he should be able to flag with the rook here. He, if Nabadi had maybe 10 seconds, I think Ali Reza would probably only be able to draw. But with, with, with only one second more, Ali Reza will be able to flag him. So Ali Reza wins the game, and he moves to um, moves to 9 out of 10. So pretty, pretty, pretty good stuff for Ali Reza here. So I think this is when we hit the break, right? This is the first break. So first break of the second event. So we'll keep covering it, but I am going to get up and go. All right. Okay. I want to see Hikaru play some Fortnite. Yeah, maybe um, maybe soon. Not, not in the very near future, but soon. All right, we're back. Um, of course, I have food again. Um, and my salad. It's just a mixed salad, some, like, some carrots. Some carrots, some olives, some lettuce.
Yeah, I assume you're making a joke. Thank you, Dito, was in for the Prime. X Screw was a Prime. Thank you so much. Um, all right, so... Uh, no, I'm not playing this one because I played earlier. So, we'll keep watching. It looks healthy? Yeah, it's a salad. Salads are supposed to be healthy. I mean, unless you sl sl um, slather a salad with, like, dressing, it's pretty good. Mmm. Okay, um, no, I just got some olive oil. No, um, no real dressing. Healthy gamer? Yeah, I know, I, I know. Okay, let's keep watching. Um, I'll watch Andrew here because it looks like Ali Rez is in, in firm control. So I'm going to watch, um, I think, I think I'm going to watch, uh, watch Andrew since it's not so clear cut right now. He's playing Radix Adwani, who's very dangerous, very talented Indian junior player. Okay, E4 probably. Now, Andrew's had this type of position against me a million times, so I expect him to be pretty familiar with it in, in terms of what to do in a bullet game, especially. C5, knight C6, of course, knight C6, or trade knight C6, some order of this. A4 takes knight B4. It's getting dangerous, though. Takes. This doesn't look right. Mm hmm. Bishop f4, knight d4. I thought knight d4 was better. King g2 and rook h1. Or rook g1. I think you go king g7, but. Okay, now queen h7 is ggs. Or no, there's bishop h2. Wait, no, it's not ggs. Rook h8, but this is ggs. Knight d4, ggs. F4. Bishop d5. Wait, Andrew's making a bit of a mess out of this. Um... There was a bishop d5 sack. What is this? What is that? Why did he do that? F4, GG's. F4 and queen h2. F4? Okay, finally. I'm eating, uh, I'm eating salad. There are less viewers than, than before. Yeah. No, we're just chilling and having a good time. Uh, I already won. I won the first qualifier, buoy, buoy, buoy. So uh, I qualified to tomorrow from to, from uh, from the first qualifier. Predict the top six. Okay, I'm going to predict, predict Ali Reza and Andrew make it in. I'm going to predict Arjun makes it in. I mean, the field is very light. When I look at the field, it looks like a very light field relative to earlier. I think of Mr. Hat for the two months. It's a very light field. It's nowhere near a stack. I'm missing, Wonderful Time's missing, Big Fish is missing, Daniel's missing. So it looks like a very light field. So I'm predicting that Ali Rez and Andrew will qualify pretty easily. Um, I think Bordnik will make it. I think Arjun will make it. And then last two, I don't know who. It's, and maybe Nihal. I'll predict Nihal and Indian Lad, I think. That's my prediction. So to recap, Ali Reza, Andrew, uh, Nihal, that's three. Alexander Bortnik is four, Arjun is five, and six will be, uh, will be, um, who did I say? I said someone a little bit below. I said Indian Lad. That's my top six. Maybe, no, actually not Indian Lad. Let's say Raunek, I think, for the sixth one. Wait. What's wrong with my fork? I can't, I can't get the carrot to go on the fork. Um, <laughs> get a real fork? Okay, okay. Mm. 
95? I don't like this, actually. I think um, Nihal is maybe okay here. Nihal has kind of survived. Bishop e6, and he's completely fine. Just rook d5 and double stack. 95, of course, and now it's GG. It's rook d6, you just take h8. So yeah, we just keep going. Please follow Ali Reza. I assume Ali Reza is just qualifying easily. Yeah, I mean, there's very little competition in this event, I would say, overall. Um, it's a lot, lot lighter than the first one. So yeah, we're just going to keep watching. And I, I'm not going to take a break, actually. We'll go all the way to round 19. Um, I'm not, even though they take a break after 15, I'm not taking a break. No ads, nothing. We just keep going. When can we get a juicer t-shirt? Not sure. Soon, hopefully. No, I'm not playing in any bullet competitions for the rest of the day, but tomorrow I will be. Because I'm not there. Well, I'm not there. Ali Rez, or I'm not there. Wonderful Time's not there. Um, Big Fish is missing. Daniel's missing. A lot of people. Mm hmm. Okay, let's watch this game. What's going on? G4, G3, and Black wins. Yeah, Black should win on time here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How many points did I get earlier today? I got um, I got quite a few. Um, but yeah, we keep going. Okay, so my prediction was Andrew, Ali Reza. Okay, I'm gonna, I, I think I'll unfollow Andrew for now. Let's follow Ali Reza again. Okay, let's close this game. I think Alarez is fine here. Maybe F5, F6 though. Queen F3 and Bishop H6. There's still some danger here. Um, maybe, no, that's too much. Queen B7, Knight C6. This actually is looking very dangerous suddenly for Ali Reza. Very dangerous because there's Bishop C5. Or Wait. Wow, he barely hangs on. He's going to win now because uh, Bortnik missed his chance. Missed a big chance there, I think, to, to take a big, big advantage. Too many pawns, too many pawns here. Okay, so so of course, uh, Andrew won his game. Ali Rez is gonna win as well. So we're looking for pretty dry ash in the second qualifier. Just B2 and A5, A4, A3. Yeah, he's gonna resign here, I think. Or, okay, does, doesn't. Okay, and they keep going. So annoying this fork keeps bending i can't when i like see look at the, the fork keeps bending like i was able to get it through but like the the prongs keep splitting like it's very hard to get a get a um oh i just lost my just lost my carrot um Anyway, Ali Reza wins. Um, looking pretty smooth so far. Pretty good. Can we follow uh, Pragnananta? Um, well, I, I feel like the top two are guaranteed, so I'm going to follow Arjun, actually, in a second. Um, so let's, uh, let's, okay, let's unfollow Faruja. Or no, actually, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, but he's playing Arjun, so we're, we're going to see the game anyway.
Weird game. Maybe knight d5. Okay, maybe rook e8. I like Ali Reza's position now, though. He should be better here. There's maybe knight e5. It goes knight e4, but now knight f4. Knight e7, knight e5, or knight b4, knight e5. I don't actually like it. This actually looks dangerous for uh, for Ali Reza suddenly. There's also knight g2, knight h3. It's actually getting very iffy. Queen f4? This is getting very iffy for Ali Reza suddenly. He's actually losing here. So the key for Ali Reza is to not tilt. Because he's probably going to lose this game. If, uh, if, if Arjun plays good moves, he's going to lose. That being said, it doesn't look like Arjun's feeling very confident here. Yeah, I think I think Alirez is still he's back in the game. D5. Oh, knight f3. Oh, knight f3 miss. Knight f3 miss. Knight f3 missed. Now he plays it. C5. I still think I think it's very Oh, he's got 96 knight c5. He sees it very Oh, but it doesn't work. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah, this bishop is like a monster. It's a monster bishop here. And now now Alirez is going to win the game. Especially with the time getting tight like this. Now he goes rookie 8 at some moment if he needs to. Although he's up so much time that he doesn't even need it. But it's going to work. Here and then you run the king straight to g6. Arjun dropped the carrot exactly, yeah. Will I play? Uh, I play tomorrow. Thank you, Twitch Zelly for the Prime. D Zero for the Prime. Peter P for the Prime. Axel Wickstrom for the six months. And Fat Freddy for the 11. Um, once again, it feels like in the second one, I mean, everybody's already kind of qualified. So, yeah. Can't watch a stream with this loud ass eater. Okay, dude, you can just get banned. Congrats. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Bye bye. Okay. Um. Keep watching. Knight d7 is a move. Bishop a6 is a move. Um, maybe knight e7, knight f5 here. Knight e4 is a move also. Um, yeah, buy. Yeah, exactly. Like, look, it's my stream. If I if I feel like eating right now, I feel like eating. Grow up. Um, I think maybe, but it's it's hard it's hard to know. I mean, it's it's, it's hard to tell. At any rate, we're back. Um, okay, so it's 13 out of 15. Both players here. I'm not gonna actually take a break. They they have a six minute break, but I'm not taking a break. Uh, do I have a Nike sponsorship deal? No, I don't. I don't have my um I don't have my uh my Nike sponsorship deal yet. But who knows? You never know. They need intro um into entropy. Thank you. Awesome, that's great to hear. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Again, I, I, that was a very nice win by Platy here, by the way. Great game that he played. Um, so, yeah. Chess and eSport, therefore, anything is possible? Absolutely. But yeah, who knows? Who knows? At any rate, um, yeah. So right now they're both both players on thirteen out of fifteen. You can, you can already tell there's quite a big gap. So unless Ali Reza tilts his mind off or Andrew does, they probably both should qualify. Yeah, I mean Ali Reza has lost a lot of elo points. Again, I think this is sort of what you see is that um, when there are the big matches, big opportunities, um, you know, ratings tend to fluctuate quite a bit. So yeah. So I think they're on a short break. Um, what was this? Will Farouche have the soul lead after round 15? Oh, man. Oh, 67% of you guys bet that he would and you lost points. Ouch. 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 That's got to hurt. That's got to hurt.
So anyway, you guys, uh, how's everybody doing? Since we are in the short break and I'm just going to be talking to chat while we do our commentary, how, how are you guys feeling? We feeling good? 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 Awesome. Do I think Levy can make it to GM? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So anyway, um, only tired, only four hours of sleep. You got to get more sleep, you guys. I've been actually burning the candle at both ends too. Uh, I think I've been getting like six, I got like six hours sleep last night at that. So, um, yeah, you got to get sleep, you guys. You got to get sleep. Sleep plus sleep, because if you don't sleep enough, then you got to have the caffeines. GM Levy doesn't sound quite right. Yeah, I use an alarm clock, yeah. No, I think I need like seven and a half. Seven, seven, seven and a half is about the right amount for me. But yeah, <laughs> nine hours would be nice. Nine hours of sleep would be nice. But, um, you know, I'm a streamer. I try to, you know, I try to stream in the morning. So nine hours is not realistic for me anymore. Yeah, actually, I'm going to have a little bit more caffeine. One second. All right. Um, thank you to Jamaica Runner for the 20 gifted subs. Thank you so much, Jamaica Runner. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> Someone just said, ah, oh, yes, the banana is famous for its caffeine. <laughs> That's a good one, dude. Good one. <laughs> the... <laughs> <laughs> banana, yeah, banana, you guys, as you know, a banana is very full of caffeine. Um... Actually, bananas are full of um, a potassium, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. So they're very good. Okay, next round. Let's watch. Salad banana looks like you're on a diet. Well, as you guys know, I, um, I'm in California. I'm in L.A. You know, you're not allowed to, um, you're, you're not, allowed to not be on a diet or be, be super skinny. So you got to be on a diet if you plan to live in L.A. All right. Um, yeah, let's keep going. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay, what's going on here? We have a messy position. Arjun is um, up a juicer, though, so he should win. Okay. Um, they eat Ezra for the eight months as well. Andrew's bold skills are very, very good. Um, okay, this is not the game that I want to watch. Let's close this one. Um, let's watch Andrew. He's playing against Yosef Tater. Trying to get a checkmate here on the king's side. I don't know if this is objectively right, but it looks like a great idea. Uh, I won the first one. Bishop H6, GG. Okay, game over. Let's watch. Someone says watch Nihal. <laughs> Thank you, J by for the through three bucks. Appreciate it. Um, very, that's very funny, actually. Yeah, so that's my brother, of course. My brother works at JP Morgan. He's one of those suits. Um, so yeah, I, I guess uh, my brother. I guess my. I guess he was applying for a job at JP Morgan, and he the interview was with my brother, which is pretty funny. Um, <laughs> okay. Um, what is JP Morgan? Yeah, I know. Real. Wait, Knight, 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 and Nihal is gonna win here. Nihal is 10 to 10. He's going to win. Nihal is on his way to another victory. Yeah. 
yeah. Anyway, pretty good stuff. Um, let's see, maybe Rook F3. Yeah, this is over. Uh, doesn't look great. Yeah, F3, F2, F1. Check and make the queen pre-move queen, queen F2 or queen F3. Both, both pre-moves are technically sound. Although, wait, what's he doing? What's he doing? What is he doing? You got it. You got a sack. I mean. Oh, wow, it's a draw. Nihal's technique was very poor there. Very, very poor technique from Nihal. Very, very poor technique. Very, very poor technique by um, by Nihal. And I think that's going to cost him now. So Andrew and, and uh, Ali Reza are pretty much going to go through. Um, so it seems pretty standard. Actually, this is very good news, though, because I think this means that the top four players will avoid each other until the semifinals or the finals. Like, I think I avoid... Um, basically, I assume I'm on one side... Danya is on the other side, and then Ali Rez is on the other side, and then Andrew's on the other side. So I won't actually have to play any of those three guys until uh, the semifinals, which is actually quite nice. Um, so we'll see. Thank you to Big Yawn for the Prime. Appreciate it. Thanks so much. Daniel qualified in the first one, um, along with myself. We were the top two players, so we, we both qualified. Yeah, but I mean, one of them will be on my side, but I think it's probably, is it, is it, I guess it depends what happens here. Because I have to be on one side, Daniel should surely be on the other side. So I think I play whoever, it should be whoever's number two, and this will be on my side. Thank you for the, thank you for the two months, Hesse. Appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, it is 2 a.m. in India, of course. So it's really, really early. A uh, bunch of games still going. Uh, oh, wait. The next round of stars. Sorry, I'm not I'm not following anybody. So let me follow... Uh, I'll follow Faruja. Big shout out to you too. Hope you're doing well. Midnight Bake. Um, Ali Reza is going to win. This is probably the last, the last real test for him, but he wins the game. Um, so yeah, this is pretty much over. Nihal is 16. Yes, he is. He's 16 years old. Exactly. Mm -hmm. It is 9 p.m. in Eastern. Will I ever change my hairstyle? Unlikely. Uh, I like my hair. Um, I like to think I have the best hair on Twitch, so I, um, I, I don't think I'm going to be changing my hair up anytime soon. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm not, you know, I, I like to think I'm good at chess, but you know, if anything, you know, the most important thing, it's, it's not about chess. It's all about the hair. The hair is what matters most to me. XQC is better hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I try to play chess well, but even, even though, you know, I'm not a great chess player, uh, the hair is what makes it all worth it. I mean, I'm sure that's why you guys all come here to watch the stream. Um, Charlie, ah, uh, Charlie has, Charlie, yeah, Charlie has good hair. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, Charlie, actually, Charlie's got great hair. That's true. Okay, next game. Let's watch this. Faruja's playing LP Soupy. Uh, important game here. I mean, Ali Reza should qualify. I mean, it's it's, it's already fl flattening out in a nice way. There's a two-point gap, so they're both, they both have a big cushion here. Oh, are you playing chess? Just looked at your hair. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Soupy um, castles, I guess, takes and now some G3, H4 I would play. Like G3 and H4 maybe because Knight of 4 is a threat. Or you can do this first. Uh, Bishop E4, D3 takes. This actually doesn't look great. D3 maybe? I would play D3 to lock the bishop in behind the pawn wall here. But now there's going to be uh, Rook H4, but then D3 maybe. D3 here, close the bishop off forever. D3 looks great here. Why isn't he playing D3? Okay, because once white gets D3 and activates the bishop, white is doing fine. Like queen h7 and D3. Okay, but now D3. Now the bishop comes in, and this was why black needed to go D3. Lock the bishop in forever. But now, I mean, bishop g5. This is gonna not going to be good for Soupy.
Um, yeah, there will be a Pog Champs 3. Absolutely. There's going to be a Pog Champs 3. I won't say when it is, but it is set. There are set dates. It is going to happen. Um, and we're, we're getting ready. We're getting ready. So it will be happening 100%. Okay, Rook B3, of course, and E4. E4 and Rook G3 and takes and takes. And it's probably just a draw. I mean, if I'm Ali Reza here, I just make a draw. Just make a draw. Because, I mean, you're up by two points. You built a big cushion. I don't like this. I mean, I don't really like this. I think it's very risky to try and play this for a win here. Like, I don't understand why Ali Reza does this. Like, he shows complete... His, his lack of awareness sometimes is, is very strange. Like, it's going to work out in this situation, but he continues to show a lack of awareness in critical situations instead of doing what's prudent and pragmatic. Um, and, I mean, it cost him It cost him in the um, in the skilling open when he didn't just make a draw in the last round. Um, and he went on to lose to Laquang Liam. And it's just like, again, like it's going to work out from here, but there was no need for this. He's two points ahead. He's got a cushion. The key is to qualify. It's not about finishing first here. So, yeah. Oh, he blunders. Ali Reza blundered. It's a draw. <laughs> Ali Reza actually blunders his rook. But again, like, yeah, it's... Yeah, thank you, thank you to Rion Hansen again for the three bucks. Thank you to Roman Hollander with the prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much, Roman Hollander. Okay, let's close the board. Let's keep going. Next round. Uh, so Andrew wins. Ali Reza draws. He's still in good shape. I mean, this is kind of the point. It's still a one and a half cushion here. So that's the whole thing. Like, I mean, it's, it's a one and a half point cushion. So the goal is just put points on the board and get the top two. That's all that matters. So, I, I, I mean, there are certain moments when he lacks this awareness that's really important. Okay, just trade, of course. Just uh, rook b8, bishop f5, b6, some combination here. Rating points matter. Um, you Rating points come and go, though. I mean, it's like, for example, you know, I lost a ton of bullet points in the speed chess championship, but I picked, I picked most of those points back up today, for example. So it's like... You know, it's just one of those things where it's like, uh, you know, you just pick, you pick up those points. Those points come and go. You know, the qualification matters more. Uh, Queen H6 is coming here. I mean, I guess you just check and go A4, A3, A2. It's Bishop H3 maybe as a try, but then you just take the two juicers in the center of the board. So it's probably really quite bad. I mean, you have rook c7 here. What about rook c7? If here rook a7, rook a7, of course, hold the juicer. Maybe queen b2 and a2. I think queen b2 is well, but then there's queen e3, queen a. Well, queen e3 here, and then queen a3 looks winning for white. But I mean, there's no way he's gonna find this. He sacks. Queen g7, a2, ggs. Bad technique, bad technique, bad technique. Yeah, bad technique. Like, and that's what separates the top players from some of these other guys is the, the resource they find. Like, Andrew would have found that. Just like I would have found that. Um, all of us would have found that tactic in like, uh, you know, who knows how many seconds, but we would have all found it. Um, whereas here, he uses like five seconds and just panics and doesn't see the idea. I'm not being toxic, I'm just being honest. If, if you guys think that's being toxic, so be it. But that's just being honest. Okay, so that means we have... Um, what are the standings? Okay, so I think Ali, Re Ali Rez is guaranteed to make it in. But he is trailing. So he's going to be on my side in the semifinal. So, uh, so yeah. I need to lie more? Okay, I need to lie more? Fair enough. Okay. <laughs> I should just lie more? I'm sorry, that's not how I do it. No Nihal, no Ranak, no, probably not. But this is, uh, I think this is the break, right? Eh. Eh, I don't know. I think it's I think the system is what it is. I think it's completely fine. So 
We're on the, the final break of this. So we're 17 out of 19, 16 and a half. So I'm gonna take a break and I'll come right back and then we'll cover the final couple of rounds. We'll be right back. See you guys in a few. <laughs> I lost 75K over the last past prediction. Sorry, that sucks. Um, it happens. But yeah, I got 19 and a half out of 21. That was my score. So yeah, so this is around 20. Uh, no, I mean, the, uh, basically the... This field is actually a lot lighter, so it, it, it is a, probably a good thing um, for Ali Reza and for Andrew that so many people qualified, as opposed to they being just the top two, because because with so many people qualifying, the field becomes a lot less stacked in the second one. Yeah, I qualified in the uh, I qualified in the first one. I, I won it with 19 and a half out of 21. Uh, Danny came in second with 19 out of 21. Give us an arrow burr. <laughs> uh, oh, is there a bet on who wins, whether it's Andrew or Ali Reza? Um, I only banned one person today. I, I don't generally do the banning um, unless someone really says something that just annoys me. So I generally don't. But uh, if someone says something that pisses me off like the guy earlier, then yes, I will just flat out ban. So yeah. Anyway, we keep going. I feel like Paga will go for this channel. Yeah, totally. Think of finally famous 88 for the two months. But yeah, we have um, one more game or two more games to go. I'll be bulletproof. So yeah, do I still have friends and people you know working in hedge funds? Do you still trade talk stocks? I don't really trade. I mean, I do buy stuff here and there, but I don't. I don't really trade. Um, I'm focused on being a streamer um, and just bringing content to the fans, both on Twitch and and, and also on YouTube. So and just the chess world in general. So yeah, I, I just don't have the time for it either. Will XCC participate in the next Pog Champs? Again, I'm not really at liberty to discuss it, but um, but yeah. Would I consider working for a hedge fund? Do you like investing in ETFs? I mean, I I, I don't, to me, I just, I'm not crazy about it. I don't, you know, I think it's very stressful. I don't necessarily think it brings, um, brings honest uh, value to people. Like I feel like with streaming, probably the single thing that I really enjoy the most is that I have the opportunity to talk to so many different people um, and try to bring them joy and inspiration through the game of chess in a way that I don't think I could do any, anywhere else. And I, I also would argue like, you know, if you're working at a hedge fund making money, yes, everybody has to have a job and make a living, but you're not really doing anything for society as far as I'm concerned. So, um, so I, no, I, I, I would not do that. I mean, I just wouldn't do that. I mean, it's like, okay, you say I work, uh, you know, it's like I work, I work at a hedge fund. I make like, I don't know, let's just say I make 2 million bucks a year or whatever the number is. Like, what am I actually doing that helps society? I mean, someone want to tell me? Yeah, I'm making money for myself. Big, big woohoo. Like, big woohoo. Like, what am I doing for actual, uh, you know, for people? Like, we're in a very difficult time with what's going on. There are a lot of people struggling, a lot of people suffering. And what, I'm just going to go make money and be like, oh, who, who cares about the rest of the world? Like, that's, that's just a terrible attitude to have. So yeah. Okay, let's keep watching. Okay, we're gonna watch game between Ali Reza and Brandon Jacobson. Okay, maybe Bishop B3. Have I read John Bogle's books? Yeah, that was the first book that I read was, I think it was like investing in mutual funds. I had a red cover. I don't remember what it was called, but that, that was probably the first thing I got into. Um, Ali Reza, meanwhile, is up a pawn and doing very well. Knight C4 or Bishop C4. I like knight c4, maybe knight e5, maybe just queen f3, rook e3 is also good. Whoa, thank you to Kanger for the five gifted subs. Thank you to Purse Springer for the five gifted as well. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the 10 gifted subs, you guys. Maybe b3 is the move and bishop a3. Okay, rook e3 is good. You develop the bishop in long term. Um, White is doing well.
Oh, thank you. Uh, no, that was the first book that I read on finance. Can Black take and go knight c2 here and go for a potential ice skater? I think Black can take and go knight. Oh, wait, no, because you hang the rook on e8, so you can't do that. Wait, what? Bishop d7 was hitting the rook, wasn't it? Or was there a knight e5? Maybe there was a knight e5 trick that I missed. Okay, this is going to be a bit of a stretch for Ali Reza. He should be able to draw this because he gets the bishop to d4. Um, yeah, maybe bishop d4 e5 is an idea h4 bishop b8 though he missed bishop b8 bishop whoa 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 this is very tricky uh, now there's rook a6 and takes rook h3 a5 check king g3 ah he's trying to set a checkmate pattern oh whoa this is very dangerous there's f4 no but he misplayed this now oh f4 oh whoa Rook f7. Blocks. Whoa. Whoa. Ali Rez is going to lose. Wow. What a loss. Thank you to Garo with the uh, tier one. Thank you to Obi-Wana Pogi with the tier one. Thank you to Halil with the five bucks. Thank you to Hamburger Heights with the three bucks. Wow. What a huge, huge uh, fail by Ali Reza there. He should not have lost that game. Um, Let's see what's happening in Andrew's game. Andrew loses. They both lose. Whoa. They both lose. Wow. Um. Oh no, wait. Andrew is black. Wait. Oh wait, no. Andrew is. Oh no, Andrew's black. Andrew wins. Never mind. Never mind. Andrew wins. Sorry, I, I misread that. Um. That being said, you see, uh, if you look at this, it's getting a little bit dicey here for Ali Reza now, because as we head into the final round, Andrew's guaranteed first. But look at this. Look at these scores: sixteen and a half and sixteen. So Ari Jun can surpass Ali Reza and take that second spot. So this is a very critical third, critical 21st game here. Very, very critical. I mean, because if if, if Ari Jun wins and Ali Reza doesn't win, I think, or no, Ali Reza is much better tie break. So 204 to 186, so he just needs a draw. As long as Ali Reza doesn't tilt and lose this game, he'll finish second. But that does mean he'll be on my side of the draw, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we'll see. This is the last game of the round. Or the tournament, I should say. You should put already qualified in your title. I mean, I, I guess I could theoretically, but yeah. Okay, let's see. Ali Rez is doing well. I mean, pretty, pretty, pretty good stuff. I mean, G4 at some point, I assume. I mean, but Toivko is actually quite dangerous. Uh, he's trying to get a knight g6 cheapo on the queen. 98 G4, of course. F6? No, knight g6. Actually, this is really bad. And also, black is too slow. Toivko is just moving too slowly. Knight c6. Oh, bishop d6, maybe? There's bishop d6. Bc4, but then you take and you go queen b5 and you cut. Queen b5, cut it off. And it's also a right triangle, so that's gg. And now you just take. But that was a very nice right triangle. Thank you to Garo for the 10 gifts again. I don't know if I recognize that, but thank you to Garo for the 10 gifts subs. Sorry if I missed that, but thank you once again for the 10 gifts subs. Appreciate it. So yeah, let's see what happens here. I mean, he's going to win, right? Ari Jun wins his game, so Ali Reza has to win, but he's got 19 seconds. There's just no way it's happening. So, okay, so I predicted Nihal. I got two wrong. Jospam and Brandon are going to qualify. Um... Nicola is not going to qualify, I guess, although he's still playing. Um... Okay, so that's checkmate, so we'll just wait for the final standings. Let's see what they are. Thank you to uh, um, thank you to Elitic PCA for the Prime. Appreciate it. Thank you so much. Okay, so obviously Ali Reza, uh, Andrew is first. Ali Reza is second. Ari Jun is third. So the top three are guaranteed. And I guess we'll just see who the final three qualifiers are. And actually, I did predict three of them. So I predicted those three. Um, but am I going to get any others? I predicted McCullough would sneak in. Is he going to actually sneak in? I predicted McCullough, Nihal, and um, and who was the sixth one I predicted? I predicted Nihal, McCullough, and... Um, who was the last player I predicted? Indian Lad. So Indian Lad's not going to make it. Okay, so is this final? This is final. Let's see who makes it. Okay. So I got four right. Andrew does win. Ali Reza is second. Ari Jun is third. McCola is fifth. And then Jospam gets fourth with 15 and a half. And Brannick Jacobson gets sixth 
with 14 out of 21, 169. So there you guys go. Those are the final standings. Oh, I said Raonic, right, right. I said, originally I said Indian Lab, then I said Raonic, right. Um, neither of them qualify though. Nihal doesn't qualify either. Those are your top six. So that means the 12 players who play tomorrow are, are um, uh, Andrew, Ali Reza, Arjun, Arjun Aragasi, Jospam, Mikola Bortnik, Brandon Jacobson, myself, Daniel Naroditsky, um, Vladimir Fedoseyev, uh, Vladimir, Vladislav Artemiev, um, and then uh, the last two are um, a Wonderful Time is one more, and then the 12th one is who finished in fifth? Who finished in fifth? Um, Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Jeffrey finished third actually, but yeah, Jeffrey finished third. So yeah, I'll just, just to recap, it starts again at 10, 10 a.m. Pacific tomorrow. Um, there will be myself, Daniel Naroditsky, Jeffrey Zhang, Vladimir Fedoseyev, uh, Vladislav Artemiev, and um, wonderful time, Le Min Tuan. Um, and then the other six players will be Andrew Tang, Ali Reza Farusha, Arjun Aragasi, uh, Jospam, Mikola Bortnik, and of course, Brandon Jacobson. So those are the 12 players. We will play tomorrow um, uh, in, the, in the final portion, which is a knockout. First prize will be $5,000, so very serious prizes uh, coming up. So on that note, you guys, I am going to call it a day. Um, it's, it's not been super long, but I, I'm a little bit tired. I kind of want to get ready for tomorrow. I think it bells down for 300 bits. So I want to get ready, get going. Um, so I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to send the raid over to Dr. Lupo. Um, I myself have donated St. Jude's, and he's doing a big charity sh stream today for St. Jude's. So make sure to check it out. I'll be back tomorrow, probably like 9 a.m. Pacific, maybe a little bit earlier. But have a great rest of your afternoon. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.